is Brenda with Wreaths by Busy Bees Custom Creations. Hope you guys are doing well tonight. I have, oops, I have a whole new setup here. We'll see how this works. I started it last night. I don't know what I was thinking, but um, I don't know. It's crazy. So hello, 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 hello. Hey, Judy, Shannon. So today's, you know, Mondays are always my crazy days because I have two of my grandkids. Hey, Donna. And hey, Teresa. Um, and then I tore this whole room apart and, like, redid a bunch of stuff. Hey, Judy. Hey, Terry. So I'm a little, like, uh, crazy today. So um, we'll see what actually happens. I didn't have time to really prepare. Hey, Jonathan. Welcome. Glad you're here. Um, so I decided to do this, hey Brenda, hey Sandy, this little um, red truck that says Happy Holidays. So, hey Sarah, um, I'm going to do it on this pine um, frame. So, when you get your frame, you know, it's all smashed and everything. You can't really, you know. So you want to make sure you really take the time to fluff it out. Hey Kathy, hey Karen, hey Erica, hey Blanche. Glad you guys got my message because I sent out the first one with the time from last night. It's been one of those days. You know, I, I started pulling this room apart last night at like 9.30 after this live, right? You can't see me? Um, try going out and coming back in, Barbara, because I it looks okay here. Is anybody else having any problems? Hey, Vanessa. Hey, Joyce. So, yeah. So, oh, thank you, Teresa, for blessing my page. So I started tearing this room apart at like, hey, Susan, like 9 30, 10 o'clock, right? So, you know, and it's never a short thing because you end up tearing everything out. Hey, Shannon. And then um, I was up till like 11 15, and my husband's like, I got to go to bed. It was a wreck. I couldn't even walk in here. There was stuff all over the floor, all in the hallway, all in the next bedroom. Hey, Judy. Hey, Andrea. Hey, Susie. Um, hey Donna, hey Cindy, hey Sandra. So yes, it was a wreck. So I can actually walk around it right now. Um, I took the crib out of the room. So that's what started this all. I'm like, you know what, I don't need that crib anymore. The youngest grandson is sleeping in a bed now for his nap. So we don't need it. So that started the whole thing. Oh good, Sue. Hey Renee, hey Donna. So yeah, so I couldn't even walk in here. Hey Marie, welcome. I'm glad you're here. If you guys could bless my page, I would appreciate it. So anyway, so yeah, so I'm like, everything's, I, I don't know where anything is right now. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Um, so I'm just fluffing this, this pine wreath. Um, I think it's um, 20 inch, 18 inch. Hey Donna. I know, right Jonathan? I, I honestly... I do it, I swear, every three months. Um, you know, I start to do it, and then I'm like, okay. And then, you know, I have stuff under all the tables and everywhere. So I have just so much stuff. So, like I said, my husband's like, I got to go to bed. Let's go. I know, right? It is about the grandkids, Susie. It absolutely is about the grandkids. We turned our dining room into a playroom because we never used our dining room anyway. So, yes, I'm on, Barbara. I know, sorry. I Like I said, I messed up the time the first time, and I'm like, oh, my word. I saw that, and I'm like, not 740. So you guys will have to forgive me. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Thank you, Peggy. So I'm like, okay, let me just get on here real quick, get this um, started. Like I said, it does take a little while to really fluff these and make them nice. Hey, Janie, how are you? Because you don't want to leave them flat. It just... It does take a little while, but oh well, it is what it is, right? Um, it'll be fine. So yeah, so um, that was my day. I know, right, Jonathan? This is a um, it's one of our bedrooms, and it was my daughter's room when she moved out. Um, then we made it a nursery nine years ago for my first grandson. And it's been a nursery ever since until I took it over. And then we had the little poor little kid that it was, you know, a crib in the corner. It was hard to even get him in the crib. Hey, Amy, well, welcome. I'm glad you found me. 
So yeah, so it was just, it was a nightmare. And I'm thinking, I don't need the crib anymore. I can just take it out. Well, you know, then everything snowballs. And you have to take everything out and put it back in. Now, if my husband was out of town, I would have just, like, been up till 2 in the morning. But then I couldn't sleep anyway because I was thinking, oh, my gosh, if I move this here, I move that there. You know how that is. You get in your brain and then you can't sleep. So then I was up till 12, 31 o'clock anyway, and I wore this Fitbit. It said I got, like, five hours of sleep last night. So if I'm a little crazy, more than usual, you'll know why. Oh, thanks, Andrea. So, like I said, this does take a little while to kind of pull them all out and get them kind of so it looks, you know, like it's not lifeless. Hey, Maria, how are you? So what do you guys think of the new layout? You have to let me know what you think. It's still a little bit of a mess. And um, hey, Mary, how's it going? Hey, Maria. But it'll get there. But it's a much better layout. I have more room. I'm not like crammed into this little spot. I can't walk around. So it'll get better. I just have to, you kind of still rearrange things and stuff like that. So, so yeah. And as long as I have room for my mesh holder and my computer and this table, I'm good. So, so we are good. All right. So, like I said, I'm going to use this little um, sign truck. I think I got this from Hobby Lobby, I think. I think so. Hi, Rose. So, I get these at, um, yeah, to tweak it, right. Um, I get these at AC Moore. I wait till they're on sale, and then hopefully I have, you know, a coupon. So, I think I had to spend them like four or five bucks for them. Yeah, hopefully it will be Peggy. Hopefully it will be efficient once I learn where everything is and all. But it, there's a little more room for me to move around. Okay, so. What I was thinking of doing is, of course, I'm going to use my wonderful mesh holder. Um, and if you guys are interested, this mesh holder is awesome. So I will um, put my affiliate link here for the mesh holder. Um, it's great. I love it. I don't think I could do. I don't think I could do it without it. Um, you know, I get a few pennies for you know if you buy one, but not much. Um, so what I was thinking. So yeah, I'm, I'm using kind of leftover um, rolls of stuff, too. So this is going to be, I think I'm going to do this like 10 inches. Okay. And the 24 inch. So let me just kind of play around a little bit and see how this looks. Hey, Chrissy, how are you? All right. So I have, yep, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I think I'm going to alternate with this mesh and just kind of do 10 inch ruffles and I'm going to do the red and the green. So the wonderful thing about this mesh holder, as you guys can see, you can actually cut three rolls at a time if you want to, um, but I just need the two. So I'm going to slide this over here and cut some mesh. So, what I love about it is, like I said, you can cut more than one at a time. It just makes it so much easier. There's one. Two. I don't think I need too many. I know that I'm getting to the end of the rope here. Okay, and that one's much done that roll but just it makes it so much easier than trying to hold it down with something and I just knock that off that's how my day's going so um, I just love it but I had this single one and um, then she came out with this ultimate one and honestly I know it's a little more expensive but Spend the money and get the ultimate because it's so worth it. It just makes life so much easier. Okay, so. Move these over here. Yep, it happens. I'm telling you, Maria. 
you will have all kinds of stuff. You'll have it everywhere. <laughs> so again, hey Sandy, I'm just I just cut these 10 inches and I'm just gonna ruffle them. And I have some green and some red. I got this mesh from Joann's. I say that a lot, don't I? Hey Steven, how's it going, bud? Hopefully you're having a better day. I don't think I'm going to need a whole bunch of these, but hey, Bonnie, how's it going? I'm using 10 inch mesh and hey, Sandy, and I cut it to 10 inches. I'm just doing small little ruffles, nothing big, just to kind of add. Um, oh, there you go. Yeah, I know. Why do you tell? Just to add some color into the greenery. And I have this mesh, like I said, and I'm going to use it up. Hey, Jean. So I'm going to do the green, and I'm going to alternate the green and the red. Just for something different. Oh, thanks, Sandy. Yes, I had a good day. Hey, Jackie. I know, right? Well, I started out, let me see, where did I start out doing it? Oh, I started out doing it in, oh, in my sunroom and then that got too hot because it's not air conditioned or heated so then I went down into the basement well then that got too cold because it's not heated and then I was doing some stuff out of the kitchen and my husband's like this is not going to work so then I moved up here so but when I moved up here are you using the green stuff? Yes, I'm using the pine, um, the pine frame just as pipe cleaners. Yep. So yes. Yeah, so then I moved up here, and I have stuff in here. I have stuff down my basement. I have stuff in my attic. I have stuff in my sunroom. So <laughs> yeah, I'm just using these as my pipe cleaners because there's there, there's no use, um, you know, adding pipe cleaners to it so so yeah and again these are just their 10 inch mesh and I cut them to 10 inches just to add a little bit of color to the wreath and just adding some on the top row here so how'd everyone's day go I don't, it's going to be a red next to a red, but oh well. Like I said, I had two of my grandkids today, and then as soon as they left, I know we do, don't we, Susie? Yeah. Um, when they left, I we went to my daughter Coach's volleyball, so we went to her game real quick. I quick came home from that, threw in some dinner for my husband, and then came up here to try to get ready. <laughs> yeah. My neighbor calls me, um, uh, it was good, my neighbor calls me a ribbon whore, you know, because you all know, you crafters, um, you know that once you start buying, you never have the right, never have the right ribbon, never have the, um, um, sure, Beth, hey, Teresa, how are you? Hi, Sandy, um, yeah, um, no, this is Joanne's last year, I am making a, um, pine base, um, wreath here. Oh, I know. No, this is 20, this is 10 inch mesh. Um, we have, it has just been the wettest year. I don't know. I'm not ready to even answer your question. <laughs> I am not ready at all. So we've had enough rain for a while now. <laughs> Hey, Becky, how are you? Oh, wow. Yeah, my daughter played um, volleyball and basketball in high school. She loved volleyball, or she loved basketball, actually. It's 10-inch mesh, Brenda, um, more than she did volleyball. But I think it's funny now she ends, she's ending up um, coaching volleyball, and she loves it. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I, I love that thing. So, 
yeah, so it was a busy day. But Mondays are always crazy, you know, having the kids. So, oh, thanks, Becky. Yeah, I just got them. Um, they're DVD holders. Why not, right? Yes, 10-inch mesh. Yep. Oh, thanks, Brenda. Okay. I'm going to run out of the red. I don't know if I have any more. We're just going to wing it. That's where I'll put the sign. 41 inches. I believe it, Sandy. Because, you know, we have had so much stinking rain. Every time you turn around, it's raining. I will have to see if I have any more with that red. I don't know that I do. I don't know that I do. Where did I get... Oh, hey, Bonnie. Welcome. Glad to have you. Where did you get the frame? The pine frame, you mean? This came from AC Moore. You helping taking care of our Steven? All right. I don't have any more of that red. I thought I would have enough. Let me just pop on here and see if I have any more of the red. <laughs> If not, oh well. Oh, I do. Sorry about that, guys. I thought I would have enough. <laughs> oh, thanks, Stephen. We hope you're doing better. Get this out of the way. I think I have enough green. Just the red I needed. Okay. Yeah, this was um, Joanne's mesh. Watch, I don't knock everything over. From last year, I believe. Like I said, I'm located in Reutersford, Pennsylvania. It's between Philadelphia and Lancaster. Um, I, I just kind of grabbed some. Hi, Kathleen. I'm making a pine-based truckery. I just kind of try to space them out. Hey, Norma. I just try to kind of space them out a little bit. I kind of just guess. Um, there's no really real rhyme or reason to it, to be honest. Um, I just kind of place them and go. You know, with rethink, you don't have to be very precise. Lizzie, I'm going to put this truck in there. At least I don't think you have to. So again, I'm just using 10 inch mesh. I cut it to 10 inches. And then um, putting it on the wreath. Kind of doing a little ruffle and putting it on the wreath. I store mine in a closet. I have shelves in the closet that I put it on. All right, so I need one more red here. Oops, would help if I put my thing out. Okay. Yeah, I know, right? Just kind of wing it. And half the time, I don't know what I'm putting on it or, you know, I kind of start with an idea, but that doesn't always mean that's what it ends up being. I think sometimes, um, I think this sign came from Hobby Lobby. It's better if you kind of just wing it half the time, I think, anyway. Yeah, I think it came, let me see. No, I lied, Walmart. Sign came from Walmart. Okay, so, all right, so that's the base, and like I said, I just alternated the red and the green, and then I'm going to put this sign on, but I think what I'm going to do is three bows, so let's make the bows, and then we'll decide if we want to add the streamers to it. Let me set this here. 
get my probo out. Get my ribbon going here. Okay. Oh, thanks, Stephen. Um, I don't remember Jackie, to be honest, if I got it this year or not. Isn't that terrible? It's terrible. Oh, thanks, Lou. Um, that's terrible. I don't even know. All right, so let me get those out of the way. Let me get my things going. It's going to be the truck wreath, Kathleen. You have some funky fonts going on there, Kathleen. I, I, I'm going to guess, I think it was last year. I don't think it was this year, Sandy. I'm pretty sure it was last year. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was last year. Now, what are these in the wire? Yeah, I'm sure it was last year. I said, you guys, I rearranged everything. So now I'm like, okay, where did I put that? <laughs> oh, the phone stuck. Yeah, and it's a funky, um, it's a funky font, too. It's cute. I was like, what is that? All right, so I'm just cutting two wires, about, I don't know, 25 to 26 inches. Um, Jonathan, let me tell you. Hey, Peggy. I cannot make a bow to, by hand to save my life. I couldn't do it. So I got this Pro Bow the Hand. In fact, I have an affiliate link if you want it. Let me pop that on there for you. Um, and I love... This Provo. Um, it just makes it so much easier. Oh, I have stuff all over it. All right, so there's the link to the Provo. Um, it really does make it so much easier, Jonathan. You will love it. I prefer it over anything else. Right, Tracy? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Let me get my ribbons going here. Okay, so I got this one and a half inch from, is this Joann's or Michael's? Let's see, let's see, let's see, it doesn't say. Celebrate it. I think that's Joann. Is that Michael's? I think that's Michael's. Oh, Carol, you can do it. Trust me, you can do it. Hey, Linda, how are you? Um... And I need to do another bow party, too, because we haven't done one of those in a while. Isn't this pretty? I got this from um, Tommy's Wholesale in um, South Carolina when I was there this summer. Oh, I like that ribbon. And then this stuff I got from Sam's. This is a Sam's ribbon. Okay. So... Oh, come on. Yeah, Celebrate It. I thought so. Celebrate It is Michael's. All right, so there's one. Let me get this started. So this is, and I say my version because I know I don't do it exactly like, oh, thanks, Kathleen. Um, I know I don't do it like the Terry Bow should be. So I just kind of wing it, make it my own, and go from there. But I think I make this bow 99% of the time. <laughs> So I'm just going to wrap it around there a couple times and then um, I'm going to wrap this top wire around this peg, the top peg. There it is. 
Okay. My, mine uh, goes all over the place, so I put this underneath it to kind of stop it from moving. Yeah, I have. Hey, Kim, how are you? And the bottom wire goes underneath here. Let me see if I can bring the camera in a little bit so you guys can see better. All right. How is that? Is that a little better? I know. <laughs> I think Kathleen is talking to me in code. <laughs> okay, so then I'm just going to dovetail the ends. Okay, and then I'm going to bring a tail on either end. And I'm going to take my second ribbon. I'm going to take my second wire. Is that view okay? Is that better? Or do you want, need me to zoom out a little bit? Or um, is it okay? I'm going to put it between here. And I'm going to bring it to the right of the peg. And bring it to the back and just twist it one time. Okay. I'm going to take my second wire. Okay, good. And I'm going to measure it to my C peg and then just gather it. And put it here. Hey, Regina, how are you? Speaking of the Probo. Hey, Nancy. Regina Sellers is watching, and Regina is the inventor of the Probo the Hand. I was just telling them, Regina, they need to get one of these if they don't have it. There's Regina. I just listed my affiliate link there, Regina, so I told them they need to go get one. Okay, so there's my second one. And I'm going to get my third one. Yep, say hello to Regina. She is a sweet lady. Oh, good. I'm glad you liked the view. Okay, then my third. Again, I'm going to measure it out to the C. I'm going to pinch it. Put the tail up here. Line that up there. Put it around that finger. No, I'm so excited you're here, Regina. Thanks for stopping by. Okay. That's the third one. And I'm going to cut that one off. Okay. All right. So we got that there. And then I'm going to go back to this middle one. Oh, no problem, Regina. We appreciate you stopping by our little live here. Again, I'm going to measure out to the C. <clears throat> oh, you have to get it out of the box, Victoria. Oh, I know. It's still raining everywhere. Yeah, fairy godmother, right? Yeah, Regina is the fairy godmother. I didn't see the Regina bow. When did you do it? Is that new, Regina? Is it on your page? Hey, Janet. No, Regina, I did not see it. You, I will have to go and hunt it. Was it last night that you did it, Regina? Okay, so that's the fourth one. I know, I so want to go to the convention, you guys, but it's just not in the cards this year. All right, so I'm going to bring my other. Oh, I have to watch it. I didn't watch it. I can't wait to see it. All right, I will definitely look it up, Regina. I'm excited. All right, so then I'm going to use this red truck ribbon. I can find the beginning here. And this is another Michael's ribbon. I know I, I can't wait to see the Regina bow. Okay, so I'm going to take these two ribbons together. Oh, okay. I will definitely look for it. I know the 
A lot of people think that the Probo looks daunting and hard to use, but honestly, it is so easy, guys. It really is. It will make your life so much easier. The same thing with this the Susie's Mesh Roller. These are two, and I, in all honesty, these are two tools I could not, 12 different ribbons, woo! Wow. Yeah, the mesh roller and my Probo are two things I could not live without. So, and you, I mean, honestly, I cannot live without either of them. So, I'm just taking these and I'm putting these together. And it is easy, Jonathan. It, I mean, you know, when you first get it, you do have to play with it. You got to get the hang of it. Um, but really, just watch. Regina has a bunch of videos on YouTube, and she explains everything step by step. She makes it so much easier. Um, oh, there's only two wires, you guys. You can do it. The only thing is mine slides all over the place, and I have the non-stick things on the bottom, and it still slides. That's the only thing. If I could get it to stop sliding, I'd be happy. But honestly, it's not really. It is so easy. Once you kind of just get the hang of it, it really is easy. And I'm not kidding you. First time I ever sold a bow before. Oh, wow. That's awesome, Regina. That is amazing. It really, I mean, honestly, it just, we'll have to do another bow party. Maybe this Thursday night we'll be a, um, do a bow party. Hey, Marcia, how are you? We are making a red, a pine base red truck wreath. I honestly, Susie, I have tried everything. And Regina, I'm going to pull this bow off and I'm going to ask your opinion because I have. I put those little non-stick things on it. Um, I've tried all kinds of, I don't know, maybe I'm just too rough with it. Who knows? But I'm going to turn around and show you guys what I have on the bottom. And maybe Regina has a good idea of something else I can do. Or maybe my mat's just slippery. I don't know. Mm, I was sitting. Yeah, well, it is because it slides all over the table, Regina. So I put it on this rubber mat um, so it stops sliding some. So I'll show you as soon as I pull this bow off, Regina. Okay, let me get this cut. All right, so. You want to take this off. This is your wire that you started with. Now you want to make sure you put your finger down there um, to make sure you have it unwound off of everything and the one off the bottom and then pull it as tight as you can get it and then twist. Rubber shell. Yeah, well that's what this is kind of one of those rubbery things. So I thought um, I thought that would work better, but I am. I'm going to i will show you. So let me pull this off. But I have. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, see? I don't know. Maybe. See, Regina, I need your help. Okay, so I just... Um, okay, so that's done. Now, the easiest way to get the bow off, for me, I find, is to take this... Center one out, and then it just pops right off. Okay, look, see? Look, see what I have on the bottom? I have all these, I have like a gazillion of these non, you know, these things. So if anybody has any ideas, it's still, like I said, it still moves around. You know, these non, they're supposed to make it so it non, you know, so it grips. But if I put it on this, it at least stays a little better. Um, but I don't know what I do wrong. <laughs> I don't know. 
Yeah, I had those on there. I don't know why. I think you ordered. Well, you really can't, to be honest. It's going to be backwards on um, one way you do it, Trisha, Tracy. All right, so I'm going to make two more bows. So we're just going to do the exact same thing we did for the first one. Yeah, I have tried shelf liner. I've tried, I don't know. I must be doing something wrong, but okay. So let me start with this again. This is my first one. I'm going to dovetail the end here. Okay. Yeah, I've tried stuff. I don't know. I must be doing something wrong. All right. So I'm going to get my wire again. This is my first wire. Hey, Lashang, how are you? And just put it there and then just start wrapping. Oh, Regina, what am I doing wrong then? I had those four non that you sent me and they fell off. So I put the, a bunch of them on there as you can see. Um, I don't know. I must be doing something wrong. Hey Karen, how are you? It does not move. Do you have it on a mat like this or just the table or something? Maybe it's because I have it on <laughs> Kathleen. Your font cracks me up. Um, maybe it's because I have it on the on the, the mat. I don't know. Do you use yours on the mat, Regina? Okay. Dovetail the ends. All right. Get the second one. Yeah, I wonder if it's because it's on that mat. But I don't ever move my mat. Hey, Ramona, how are you? A bathtub mat? Oh, that might work. All right, so then again, I'm going to take the helping hand wire. I'm going to feed it right between here, right here. And take the pin. If I take the pin, yeah, see, that's probably why. It must be the mat, but I don't ever take this mat off the table. So what do you think? Oh, make sure it's on the right side. What do you think I could put on it? Yours doesn't move. It must be because I have it on the mat. You know, because this is kind of slippery. All right, I'm putting it out to the sea. And then gathering it. That's probably why. Because I have it on the mat. And then gather it again and twist. Put it on this finger and then gather and tie it off. And measure it out to the C oh. and cut it off. It's elevated. What's elevated? The rip, uh, the holder, or yeah. I ha I will have to try a couple of the ideas you guys gave me and see what works. Okay, so this is the third one again. I'm going to put it to the C and gather it. Put it here. Wonder if. The <laughs> could find some sort of suction cups or something to suction it to the mat or something. I don't know. Hey, Sheila, how are you? And then I just measure it out to that and cut it off. Okay, and then I go back to this one. And dovetail. Yes, I do. Yep. Oh, Teresa, you're going to love it. I'm telling you, these are the two tools. I move my mat and work with it on the card table. Hmm. Yeah, I never take this mat off, so that's probably it. Um, what was I going to say now? I don't know. I don't remember because I'm brain dead. Hey, Melody, how are you? 
but oh yeah so these are the two tools like two tools i cannot live without the pro by the hand and my ultimate mesh roller okay Put that up there and then go to my two and a half inch ribbon so i um use four well i only use three because i alternate the one but for this bow you use four of the one and a half and two of the two and a half hey annette how are you if you guys could share and bless my page i would much appreciate it yeah, if you don't have the Probo or the Ultimate Mesh Holder, got to get them. Got to get them. So, and then I just pinch. I will have to try that. And twist. Yep, Jonathan, my affiliate links are in the um, comments. If you would use those, that would be great. Just get a little bit from it, but helps me out a little bit. I know I love the truck and the tree ribbon. I have it in this and I have it in, I think I have it in another one that's like a white background instead of the natural, but I really like the natural for this. Thanks, Nina. But yeah, once you start using the Pro Bow, I'm telling you, it is not hard at all. It does look intimidating, but it's really not. And honestly, I could not, I, I just couldn't. Thanks, Teresa. I appreciate it. I think I'm going to make three bows all together to put on. And then, like I said, we'll decide before we put the bows on if we want. Oh, no problem, Regina. Absolutely. It's a great product, so I'm happy to stand behind you on this. So then just gather, put it there, and twist. Thank you, Sandra. I appreciate that. And twist. Okay, and then the helping hand wire. Some people cut them off. Some people, I don't know what other people's do. Um, I just twist mine together. I know, Linda, right? I love mine, too. Um, Teresa, I don't think I'm going to be able to go Wednesday because I have to be back. If I can get, if I can go. Oh, thanks, Regina. Um, if I can go and get back by 2, 2.30, I will. Um, oh, good, Kathleen. Um, I'm, I'll go Wednesday. If not, I will go Thursday. You still can't make a bow? Do you have a pro bow the hand? Because honestly, if you have one of these, and I'm not saying this to you, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Trust me, because I am bow illiterate. All right, then I'm going to untwist this from the middle one again. And stick your finger here to make sure, hey, Sandra, um, that it's all off, because you don't want to leave that on there. And then just pull as tight as you can and twist. And I use the 24 or 22 gauge wire, because if I use 26, I break it. Because so. I, I just couldn't make a bow by hand. I'm just not that coordinated. How you doing, Sandra? Okay. All right, and again, just take the middle finger out here. Oh, okay, Mabel. And there's our second bow. Okay, we need two more pieces of wire. Well, see, Mabel, that's why Regina made this. When, you know, because you, if you have problems with your hands. Um, because it does make it a lot easier than making a bow by hand. And I probably always make my wires too long. But I'd rather them be too long than too short. OK. 
Okay. All right, so the third one here, and this is the final bow. Just going to do this here. Yes, yeah. Um, when I'm demonstrating, like when we do the bow nights, I use pipe cleaners so that you guys can really kind of get an idea of how the wires work. Because this work first wire is really just to get the um, the bow started. I have not, Blanche. Oh my gosh, you showed it with your left hand in a cast. All right, Regina. Okay, I'm just going to dovetail these. Yeah, it really is easy. And honestly, I wouldn't say that if it wasn't. Um, but like I said, if I can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> dovetail that. Get my helping hand wire and putting it between here. And I'm going between these two pegs here and then I'm taking it to the right of the back peg all the way to the back and just twisting it once. Oh wow, okay. I knew I wondered if she wasn't doing well or not. Well, we'll have to pray. Ugh. Oh, yeah, you'll definitely have to share that, Regina. Hey, Judy, how are you? Welcome. If you guys could share this, I would much appreciate it. Oh, no problem, Blanche. All right, my third ribbon here. Again, go out to the C and out here, hold it here, wrap it around the finger. Hey, Jane, how are you? Good to see you on here tonight. How can you take a picture and send it to me? If you just use your um, phone, you snap the picture. Regina's website is probothehand.com. Okay, and then back to this one. Pramela, wow, from India. Hello, welcome. How are you? And I'm going to use this again out to the sea. What time is it in India right now? Oh, Judy, yes, you can. Let me tell you, I think like everyone else, um, you know, I just kind of started doing this, and I fell in love with it, and it has just become a passion of mine. And now I just, I love doing this. So you can do it. Yeah, see, you can do it. You just have to practice. Hey, Kate, how are you? And it really does take practice. And what you do is you just, um, hey, Kate, yeah, I know, right, Monday. Um, you just buy, like, Dollar Tree ribbon or something like that, and you just get your Provo out, and you get on YouTube. Regina has tons of, visit, um, tons of videos. 5.20 a.m., what are you doing up so early? <laughs> well, welcome. You guys, it's 5.20 a.m. in India, and, oh, hello from the U.K. What time is it in the U.K.? 
I'm honored that you guys are all on here tonight. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I'm just taking it. <laughs> I'm just taking this and wrapping it. Now with these two, I'm doing the two and a half inch together. Oh, okay. Yay, 162. Wow. I haven't had this many on in a long time, guys. Thank you so much. 12.45 a.m. Well, that's not bad. A.m.? Oh, no, that is. <laughs> Thank you, guys, for blessing me. Hey, Clara from Texas. How are you? Okay, so this is our last bow. Just about done here. 10 a.m. Tuesday morning for Jane. Twist. Hello, Dulcie. That's a pretty name. Lots of Texas people on here tonight. Oh, Judy's from Texas, too. I live in Pennsylvania. I am a northeastern gal. Mary, another one. Hey, Leslie. All right, so last bow here. Okay, let me cut this off. Okay. And again, I just twist these together. Yeah, lots of Texas girls here tonight. Wow. Thank you guys for blessing my page. I really appreciate it. Oh, yes. You have to stick around. Do I live near Ronnie? Well, you know what, Colleen? Really, um, from Pittsburgh. My husband's heading to Pittsburgh this week. Um, it just takes practice. Believe me, my first bunch of bows didn't turn out so great either. But really what you do is, like I said, you just buy Dollar Tree ribbon or, you know, cheap ribbon that you really don't care about ruining. And you, oh, thanks, Clara. You just keep practicing. And really, you will get better at it because it's not, that's why Regina made it so easy. Hey, Reba. 445 in Oregon. Okay, and twist that off. Okay. Hello from Florida. Welcome. Yes, you have. Yep. Did you order a pro Lena? Hey, Kathy. Welcome. So glad you guys are all here tonight. You know, I've been trying to get to 300 viewers forever on one of my lives to give away a roll of ribbon. And I think I put the roll of ribbon away because I wasn't, I was sure I wasn't going to make it there again. But thank you guys for sharing. Um, Blanche, I'm not going to lie, it's a little nerve wracking. I feel like I'm going to mess up my bows because Regina is watching. Because, you know, she's the pro at it, so... Hey, Christina from Sanford, North Carolina. Awesome. All right, so we're done with this now. Put this away. I know, Blanche. It is a little nerve wracking. Not going to lie. I feel like I'm going to mess everything up. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Leslie. Okay. All right, so I'm going to move this out of the way. Move this out of the way for now. I might, Teresa, I might. Woohoo! All right, now I'm going to get my puff box out here. And we, oh, thanks, Blanche. I'm going to fluff these bows out. Okay, so this just has, it's just a heavy box. Regina gives directions. Oh, thanks, Regina. Regina gives directions on her site how to make this, or she also sells these. And really, it's just heavy, so it holds. 
down the bow. And then I'm just going to start fluffing. Two of, all right. Woo. And then just pull them out. I'm telling you, I put that. Oh, honestly, come on, Sandy, you can do it. All right, girls, we're going to have to have another bow party. Um, and you guys are going to um, have to pull out your bows, bow maker, and your ribbon. And we're going to do it. All right, girls, how about Thursday night? This Thursday night, let's do it. Let's everybody bring your pro bow and some ribbon, and we will practice making bows on Thursday night. Okay, so this Thursday, 7 p.m. here, we will make some bows. So get your pro bow out, and we're going to make them. Because honestly, it really, it's not 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yep, I'm on Thursday night, so we will do a we'll do some bows. Thank you for sharing. Yay, Regina says she's gonna do some bow parties too. So yeah, bring your pro bows, get some ribbon, and we're gonna practice, you guys. Because you can do it. Well, you know what? Um, you can always watch the um, replay. Yes, yeah, 7 p.m. Oh, no. Thank you, Regina. I really appreciate you stopping on here. Oh, thanks, Jane. Okay, so let me bring this here. Yep, so that's what we're going to do. We are going to have ourselves a little bow party. Yes, absolutely. You guys can practice making one with me. All right, now, I always make my tails long. So I'm just going to trim these up a little bit. Okay. All right. There is one bow. I love using the Pro Bow on. Okay, so there's one. What do you guys think? Okay. So we have two more to make here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, Kathleen. I'm sorry, Kathleen. Every time I see you're typing, it makes me laugh. Oh, thanks, Regina. Now, I feel honored that Regina says it's perfection. Whew. I am truly, you have no idea. Oh, no problem, Diane. Hey, Donna, how are you? Really, it just does take practice. And um, Regina has a lot of videos on her YouTube page and on her site. Um, and it just takes working with them. Now, this one isn't going to turn out good because I'm nervous. Whew, all right. So, again, you just want to try to make it so that, um, like, you're not next to each other like this one is. Oh, thank you, Mabel. And what's nice about the fluff box is, like, you can see I'm really kind of yanking on this. And um, it's not going anywhere. Um, thank you, Susie. What I normally do is I normally use two to three of, um, thanks Rose, of one and a half and two to three of the two and a half. So, but like you can see, like this one, I reused one of the one and a halves. So, um, I used this same one twice. And you can just alternate them. That's what I did. And you really kind of can't be afraid to just really yank them and um, get them where you want them to go. Okay. 
Because really, that's what kind of makes the bow, I think, anyway. So, I'm going to trim this up a little bit. I absolutely sell the bows. Yep. Just trimming these up a little bit. Because like I said, I always... Um, yeah, the fluff box really does make all the difference in the world. Because it holds it and you don't have to worry about it going all over the place. Yeah, Regina, really, it's they're step by step. Um, she takes her time and really explains everything. And um, so, like I said, Thursday night when, I, when we have the boat party, I will use the pipe cleaner so that you guys can see, really see the wire. Because I think the wire really confuses a lot of people. See? All right, one more to go. Oh, thanks, Regina. Like I said, I love me my Probo and my Ultimate uh, Mesh Roller here. Like I said, I mean, I'm yanking. I'm not just like, you know, being gentle with this bow. I think you really have to, that's the thing. I think people are kind of afraid that they're going to mess it up or something. But you really kind of want to yank away. Because that's how you get them where you want them. And kind of fluff them out as you go. <clears throat> I know I so wish I was going to the convention, but yes, I love my mesh holder. Right, Regina? Yep, like Regina says, yep, yank away. Because you really can kind of get them exactly where you want them. You know, when you first start out, you're kind of like afraid to do this because you're afraid you're going to mess it up or, you know, but that's why you, you know, get those ribbon or the wires in there tight and you can just yank away. Like I said, I'm not being gentle with this bow at all. <laughs> all right, so put this over here. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Hey, Kathy. Well, we're going to, we just decided we're going to do a bow party this Thursday night. And um, we'll work on some bows for you guys. Helping you guys. Um, I think that I found at, oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Regina. Thank you so much for stopping by. Everybody say goodbye to Regina. She's got to go. Thank you, Regina. Okay. Trim these babies up. But, yeah. I always do get nervous when Regina pops on. <laughs> and, again, I'm just trimming these up a little bit. Um, but the red truck ribbon came from a local wholesale place. Yeah, so um, bring your pro bows, get your ribbon. Like I said, have three or four of the um, one and a half and two to three of the two and a half. All right, so there's my third bow. Okay. All right, let me get my fluff box out of the way. And let's zoom out a little bit. Okay. Well, that's why, um, Kathy, we'll do this party on Thursday night, and I'll help you with the placement. All right, so now I think I'm going to put this here, and then we'll put the three bows. I know, I do too. They're hysterical together, aren't they? They really are. And then maybe we'll add, you know, just a couple streamers, but I don't think we're going to need a whole lot more. Okay, so let's get this truck on here. You can use this if you want. Oh, I love it. I really do. Yeah, guys, once, um, oops, got my stuff all over the place. Um, 
really, once you get a handle on those wires, it really isn't that hard. All right now, you guys, I moved everything around. Now, where did I put my stapler? Ruh row. What did I? Oh, I think I put it way over here. See? I still have to stop doing it. No, that's not where I put it. Now let's find the stapler. <laughs> okay, let's see where I put it here. Oh, here it is. Yay! I need to find my little. There we go. Okay. And I need pipe cleaners. Goodness gracious. Where are my red pipe cleaners? Um. Okay, we're gonna go with green since I can't find the red. Sorry guys, like I said, I'm still learning where everything is in my shop now, but we'll use green. It'll blend in with that. Oh, and you know what? I don't think I need these because normally I use these um, if the sign isn't thick, but these signs, this sign's pretty thick. So let's do this here. Okay, and then wrap that around. I know, right? <laughs> Hi, Rose. How are you? I know. Whenever I reorganize it, I'm like, oh, what did I do with that? What did I do with that now? Nope, we never did make it to 300, did we, guys? Oh, well. Okay, let's see if I use that. Put it on there. Is this view still okay, or do you need it up? I think it's okay. Get that out of the way. Get these out of the way. My bows. Okay. All right, so I'm going to place the truck here. I know, I know, Susie. I don't think I'm destined to get to 300. Wrap it around. Just feeding it in through there. Thanks, Mabel. Have a good night. Hi, Michael. How are you? All right, so I'm going to turn this over. And I'm going to wrap this around the frame here to get it to stay in place. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I appreciate it. Okay. And we've got this one. Now, I usually try to see how this is a center bracket. You want to try and get one of those. So the sign doesn't move around. And then with these pine ones, um, you can just go around the frame where a pine thing is and it'll hold it nicely. Okay, so now I'm not sure. Well, I'm going to do this one. Let's see here. Oh, thanks, Tracy. I kind of like it, but I don't want it like that. Um, if you type live in the comments, um, you should get a live alert. You should get a response back from me, and you have to respond to that comment, and then you will get um, alerts each time I go live. I think that'll do it. I think that'll hold it. Have a good night. Thanks for coming on. All right, so... I'm going to rearrange this a little bit. Okay, so put that on there. Now, once you respond live, you want to make sure you respond to the message you get, okay? Otherwise, you will not be... Um... Oh, have fun on vacation, Celia. All right, all right. So then we're going to put a bow up here. I'm going to start with the one at the top. Okay. 
Yeah, make sure you respond with um, a message once you get the message. Because if you don't respond to that message that you receive, then you won't get the alerts, okay? I think a lot of people think they don't have to. Thanks, Teresa. Um, but you do have to respond to that. All right, then I'm just going to tie this on here. Yep, so once you get that message, then make sure you respond back and then you will be, you'll get the alerts. Okay, so that's the first one. Yep. I have to figure out how I'm going to do that. Okay, and then I'm going to put the second one over here. You're not getting the message. Is anyone that is um, saying live getting a message? You either. Hold on, let me make sure that my mini chat is set up. Oh, that's why. Okay. Now hopefully you'll got it. Try it again. Try typing live again and see if you get one. Sorry. You should get one now. Try typing live again and see if that works. Oh my word, guys, this is not, you did get one, no message. You get them. Okay, try, um, let me see. See, I have a gazillion, um, things in my message so I know I won't see it. Yeah, try it again and see if it works. I'm going to have to move the truck down. Oh, there we go. Now you guys should be getting it because I see the message firing off. All right, now once you get that message, you have to respond live to that message that you get in your inbox. Otherwise, you will not get the um, alert. Okay, there we go. Regina just got one. Kathy Marie just got one. Yep, you did now. Diane, okay. Yeah, it's working now. Sorry about that, guys. It has just been one of those days. Okay, yay. Yep, like I said, make sure you respond with live to that because otherwise you will not be... Um, you won't get an alert next time. Okay, Regina Henson, Jennifer. There you go. Linda. So sorry, guys. It has been one of those days, you know. What can I say? Okay. There we go. Okay. All right, good. Now it's working. So sorry about that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but make sure you respond to that message. Otherwise, you will not get it. All right, let me back up a little bit here again. Make sure. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now, that's with the bows. And again, you just kind of can really manhandle it. You want to get those bones where you want them. All right, so I might just cut a few um, streamers and put them on the outside. So let me show you guys how I did that. I got the truck from Walmart last year. So I'm going to use my truck ribbon. And this is where I'm going to use my mesh holder. And I think I'm going to use, I think this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on my mesh holder. Whoop. Right. 
<laughs> oh, oh, well, thanks for watching, Lena. <clears throat> okay, so let me cut this. Now, this is how I do it. I am not coordinated enough to hold this ribbon holder and go around like that. I'm just not. So what I do is I take it and I measure it 14 inches and then I just fold it over like that. And it's so much easier on the mesh holder because it holds it right there and just unrolls it as you need it. Cut eight. I think I'm gonna leave that. Oh yeah, the trucks are always popular, I think. And then I'm just gonna dovetail the ends here. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to, um, Mary, I'm not sure yet until I price everything out. If you are interested in it, just let me know. And when I get it listed, I can send you the link. The mesh holder is from Susie's Recent Things. I will put my link down here. Um, this is the ultimate collapsible one. I love the collapsible one. <laughs> hey, how are you? Um, it just holds so much mesh and ribbon. You can do, again, I'm cutting these to 14 inches. I don't know how many rolls of ribbon this baby will hold, but a lot. Um, and the mesh, if you use 10 inch mesh, you could do six rolls at a time if you wanted to. Um, the 21 inch mesh. It'll hold three at a time, so it's really, I mean, I love it. Like I said before, these are the two tools I really couldn't live without. Oh, no, your screen is frozen? Everything looks okay here. Two, three, four, five, six. Because, honestly, I don't know how they do it and hold the, I don't know. Um, this just makes it so much easier then trying to hold the ribbon and you know twirl it around and all that kind of stuff um just makes my life easier okay good okay so what i'm going to do just going to take these two and i'm going to take my two and a half inch and i'm going to put my one and a half inch right on top and i'm going to fold it in half Put a crease in there and where the crease is I'm just going to gather and then I'm going to put them in my ties. Okay. Yeah, sometimes when it, it um, goes wonky on your end, it could be your internet, it could be, um, you know, just something, a storm or something, who knows. Okay, let's go to the next one here, put it in, and I am putting it in the same um, twists as I put the ruffle mesh in. And again, like I said last night, you want to make sure that you're, um, since you're using printed ribbon, that it all goes the same way. Like you wouldn't want this upside down and one this way. And so you kind of really have to pay attention when you're doing it and making sure that it is all going the same way. So when you put it on. Well, we got close to 300 tonight. Not bad. Thanks, you guys, for watching and sharing. I really appreciate it. Again, I cut these ribbon streamers to 14 inches. 
And then I just dovetail the ends. Oh, thanks, Sybil. Thank you, Leslie. I appreciate that. I'm not doing too bad here tonight. A little longer. I don't know. Going crazy, you guys. Oh, well, welcome, Lisa. I'm so glad you found me. We have a lot of Texas people on here tonight. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Just about finished here. Thank you. Thank you for blessing my page. Really, without you guys, I couldn't do this. So it is much appreciated. Thanks, Kim. Just a couple more to go here. Oh, thanks, Stephen. This is just what it needed. And then I think we are pretty much done. So don't forget, this Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're going to practice with our bows. So if you have a pro bow, get it out. Oh, thank you, Lisa. If you guys could bless my page by sharing, it would be much appreciated. And check out my Etsy shop and my YouTube page. I have them listed in the description for this video. Yes, a bow party. Oh, thanks, Sonia. All right, this is the last one. Not too bad for throwing it together at the last minute, right? Not too bad. I think sometimes these are the best ones. Okay. All righty, folks. Oh, thanks, Teresa. So I just added some streamers around just the outside. So it just adds a little there because we have all the bows here. So we really don't need anything there. Um, but I really like how it turned out. Oh, thanks, Dulcie. Yeah, thank you. I try. I really do try. And I try to answer everyone's questions. I, you know, if I miss them, I do try to go back and answer them. Um, so, all right. That is it for tonight. And like I said, guys, we will do a bow party. Let me bring this up a little bit. We will do a bow party Thursday night. Thanks, Carol. Thanks, Lisa. Yep, so please, please, please share this with your friends and family and check out my Etsy shop and my YouTube page and subscribe to that if you would. And we'll be here Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tell all your friends, get your ribbon, get your pro bow, and be out here. All right, guys, have a wonderful night, and we will see you Thursday. Bye.